Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I'm really excited to bring you guys my review of the electric skateboard from City Rover. This is the C5 electric skateboard and it's available on their website for 419 US dollars. They have also supplied a discount code for my viewers so you'll save around $25 and that discount code will be in the description below so make sure to use that when you check out and you'll save a little bit of money. Make sure to check out the brand new clothing line that I just launched. It's called Eye in the Sky Clothing. I have the first featured design right now. I will have a new one next month. So go and check it out and make sure to support the channel. I do have an exclusive discount code for my viewers. If you go to the link in the description below and click on that, it will take you straight through to this featured shirt here and you'll actually save 10% on your purchase. It will go through as you check out and that is on the featured shirt, which is the Eye in the Sky shirt, available in a variety of colors and a variety of sizes. Moving back to the skateboard and the reason why you're watching this review, the actual skateboard itself comes in two different colors. You have the Doodle version, which is this crazy out there colorful version, which I absolutely adore. And then you just have the plain black version with a City Rover logo on it. I prefer the Doodle one. It looks amazing and honestly stands out as a statement piece. Now the battery capacity, you can either use a powerful Samsung battery or the LG battery. So when you click on their website and go to the electric skateboard, you'll see these two options here. You can also pick up replacement tire motors. So that means that if you damage your two motors, then you can replace them and it's quite an easy modular process. Now when it comes to the actual board itself, it's using some interesting materials. You have six layers of maple wood with two layers of flexible bamboo. So that means that you get a lot of flex to it when you bend your knees and when you go around corners but it's also relatively rigid with that maple wood. So a very interesting design mixing two materials. Just so everyone understands my experiences on a skateboard, I've only ever really ridden a skateboard for a very short period of time and I wasn't fantastic. I've only ridden an electric skateboard for a few minutes, just up and down a straight, and again, I wasn't too fantastic. So when I received this board, I really wanted to invest a lot of time into it to really perfect it. And to be honest with you, I picked it up really quickly. I felt extremely comfortable on this board. I noticed that because it's quite a long board, I have a very nice center point. I've got a great balance, and because I've got a wide stance, I actually feel extremely stable and safe on the board. I actually let Ian from Aussie Tech have a go on this board. He had never ridden a skateboard or an electric skateboard for that matter and this was his first time picking it up and it was amazing to see how confident he was straight away. He just jumped on it and went straight away. So he'll actually have a full review on his channel as well so I will have a link in the description below to check that one out but it was really interesting to kind of talk to him and see how he felt for the first time riding on an electric skateboard and he is absolutely addicted to this board. He picks it up and rides on it without any sort of question and he's really confident confident on it now. So it's amazing to see how easy it is to pick up and ride an electric skateboard, especially this one from City Rover. It's amazing. And then I also let my other friend Brandon have a go and he's been skating for many years and he just picked it up straight away and was super comfortable on it. So that really just shows you that no matter what point you're at with your skating, this board is a really good starting point. You have full control over reversing, going forward, you can brake, you can accelerate. There are three different gears as well. So you can go from the low gear, the medium gear or the high-end gear and it's really easy to go between the three different gears. Now this again just shows how easy it is for anyone to pick up and ride the C5 electric skateboard. In terms of battery life depending on what version you get whether it's the Samsung or the LG battery you can get anywhere from 10 miles to 14 miles which is 16 to 22 kilometers and that's a massive range. You honestly get so much out of this board. We tested it for a solid hour and a half and it still wasn't dead. The remote control also has really great battery life on it, and both of them don't take that long to charge. You're probably looking at a couple of hours to charge, and you get close to a couple of hours of riding time from the City Rover C5 skateboard. Obviously, depending on what you're doing, if you're going up hills, then it's probably going to have a lot less. But another great thing about this board is if you're going down hills, you can brake, and it has regenerative braking, meaning that it actually charges up the battery as you're braking. So that means that you get even more time out of the battery. So that's honestly amazing to me. Um, and then when it comes to the slow, middle, or fast mode, it goes from 20 kilometers per hour to 30 kilometers per hour in the middle mode. And then the fast mode 
is a staggering 38 kilometers per hour. So that is insanely fast. And then if you're going down a hill as well, you're going to get even more speed. You do get a few accessories in the box and the most useful out of them would be the T-Wrench tool, which allows you to loosen and tighten either the front or the back of the board. So we noticed that loosening the front of the board allowed us to turn a lot easier, but obviously at then higher speeds, you will then have a little bit more wobble and will be a little less stable depending on obviously your balance point. So it depends on how you're going to ride this board, but I loosened it a little bit so we've got a little bit more turn and it's relatively decent when it comes to the medium setting. When you go to a higher setting though, you do get a little bit of that warp and movement. So it really just depends on your riding style, but it's handy that you can adjust that on the fly and they offer the tool and they also offer a few other tools, which is handy as well. This board can also carry a max load of 120 kilograms, which is fantastic. And the max incline is 25 to 30 degrees. I have a massive hill at the front of my house and it seemed to charge up that really well. Although today I noticed that with lower battery, it doesn't seem to do as well and it struggles a bit. But if you've got full battery, then it will charge up most hills with no drama at all. City Rover have done an amazing job of making the electronic speed controller waterproof. So that means underneath the board is relatively well maintained and waterproof. You just need to make sure that you put the little plug into the battery port to make sure that everything is sealed. And then you have a waterproof board so you can ride through puddles or light rain without any sort of issues. Although I would not recommend going through torrential rain as that just doesn't make any sense. The grip tape will be obviously not as reliable at that point. And I'd also recommend wearing a helmet or safety gear at all times, especially if you're learning to ride an electric skateboard for the first time. Now going back to the max speed and max range, on their website they actually detail that the max speed is 35 to 40 kilometers per hour and that just depends on the load and the road conditions and then the max range is up to 35 kilometers so that obviously again depends on the load and road condition but that's honestly just amazing that's a really decent range and a massive max speed. Honestly, 40 kilometers per hour is ridiculous. I love the fact that they've included a handle on the board itself. It's actually embedded into the grip tape. So you can literally just pick it up by the handle and carry it wherever you want. And the board itself does weigh 7.6 kilograms. So you do need to be mindful of that. It's quite a heavy board and you don't really want to be walking with it too much. But the fact that there is a handle makes it a lot more comfortable to carry. Now moving on to my overall opinion on the C5 electric skateboard from City Rover. I'm blown away. This is is the greatest electric skateboard that I've seen or reviewed or tested or even spoken to anyone about. I love the design. I love how vibrant it is. I love that both motors are powered. A lot of other electric skateboards seem to only power one wheel or one motor, where this one powers both. So you get a lot more speed out of it and it's a lot more reliable up hills. Um, I also love how easy it is to ride. I love the distance, the, the range that you get out of it, the speed, how easy it is to control around corners. And just overall, this is a very well-constructed skateboard from City Rover. They've done an amazing job and it is relatively affordable. So like I mentioned, I will have the link in the description below and a discount code to save 25 US dollars. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And remember, I also do have that 10% saving on my featured shirt for this month. So check that out as well. There will be a link below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you haven't already and peace out.